student today we will discuss about viscous force and velocity gradient so first we will discuss about the viscous force then we will later on move towards the defining uh, what is the velocity gradient now viscous force what is a viscous force that we already discussed that it is a resistive force which resists the relative motion between the layers when the liquid flows in town in the form of layers the layers have variable speeds so because of the existence of variation in the speed there is a variation in the uh, movement of the liquid there will be relative motion and because of the relative motion there is opposing force that opposing force or internal force which opposes this are known as viscous force or viscous drag let us understand with one diagram okay let the river water is flowing like this this is the bed of the river okay this is the bed of the river and uh, this is the surface of the river i consider one uh, coordinate system x or y something so this is about my x direction and this is my y direction or i consider this as the x direction probably then what will happen suppose this is my x direction then uh, i have considered one two three four five layers there are five layers of water now this is the lowermost it's called the bed of this here the velocity will be released or probably zero so as we move from this point towards off we'll see there is a variation of uh, uh, flow velocity here will be zero here is something like this and gradually it will increase if you plot the uh, graph it will be like this speed gradually increases from bottom towards the top of the surface now i say that this is the layer its name is say a its name is b its name is c when we move it is moving faster with respect to c but it is moving slower with respect to a suppose this velocity here is va this velocity is bv this velocity is vc is uh, this layer is moving with the velocity vv which is uh, less than uh, greater than this and less than this so therefore when this slides over the moves through the upper surface and lower surface the lower surface is uh, moving slower the upper surface is moving faster this will exert a force on both the surfaces when this tries to slide over v it will oppose this in the backward direction this will exert a force on this layer in the backward direction in this direction the apply force tangential internal force in this direction in opposite direction this layer is moving slower this is moving faster so this will apply force in the same direction in this layer now because uh, this friction is also action reaction type of force so if this applies a force on this layer in this direction this will apply force in this direction so this b will experience a force in this direction because of the layer lying above and this layer will exert a force on this layer in the backward direction okay because if this is applying force in this direction this will apply in the opposite direction so therefore the this to this force is that come into picture because of the relative motion because why relative motion because there is a variation in the velocities okay so these forces are called viscous force or viscous drag okay this uh, force f is called viscous force or viscous drag okay what is the viscous force because the due to different speeds the layers adjacent layers oppose the relative motion so that uh, appearing in the form of uh, internal tangential forces are called viscous force okay now so we will discuss about the velocity gradient velocity gradient is when we have seen in the previous video that uh, layers move with a different speed and uh, the upper surface moves faster compared to the other surfaces lying below it so 
if you consider any two layers, then the layers lying above is going more faster than the. Now, the velocity gradient basically means what is the change in the velocity as you move up or as you change the distance. The variation in the velocity with the variation in distance when you move from one layer to another layer, so you move by a small amount and see how the velocity also varies. That uh, ratio is called velocity gradient, that is, it is a change in velocity with respect to the change in displacement. Okay, that will define it. Now, this is a river bed. Water is flowing in this direction. This is the bed of the river. This is the surface. As you move from bed to the surface, from bottom to the top, the velocity gradually increases. It's being zero here, gradually increases. This is how velocity increases. Now, I consider a layer, say, at a distance of this. This is my x direction. This is my x direction. And uh, this is my flow velocity. Velocity. Here, I consider a layer arbitrarily at a distance of x1 from the origin. And say the velocity here for the flow is v1. Similarly, as you move up from any other instrument, say here, suppose this layer is uh, at a distance of x2 from this, and its velocity is v2. I would say that this distance, this distance, this distance is a change in distance, change of distance between the layers. From this layer and this layer, this is the distance of separation between the layers. This is the distance between the layers. Or you say that when you move from one layer to another layer, here to here, you cover to here to move this distance. So how much is this distance? This is this distance minus this distance, that is x2 minus x1. So when you move by this distance, I call this d x2 minus x1 as dx. Then that is a change in velocity of the velocity increase. How much? By what value it increases? We don't know. We say that this V2 obviously increases by what amount? We don't know. We say this is uh, in this velocity that increase in velocity is dv. Okay, because the velocity increases from lower layers to as you move up. So, so when under consideration for these two points, we have seen that. As you move from velocity in the layer 1 to the velocity in the layer 2, the velocity increases from v1 to v2, the increase in increment is uh, dv, and the increment in the distance of the layer is the dx. So that dv by dx is called velocity gradient. So we define like this. The relative uh, velocities between the two layers with respect to the relative distance between the two layers, really known as velocity gradient, or the difference of the velocities divided by the distance of separation between the two layers. The unit is a uh, meter per second here, and uh, down here it is uh, meter, here it is meter per second, here it is uh, meter, so it is one upon second. So here the velocity gradient unit is one upon second. Dimension part is t raised to minus 1. The dimension part of the velocity gradient. So, this is what you understand by velocity gradient. Okay. So, we'll discuss uh, something else in the next video. Thank you.